now let us learn about what do we mean by a linear pair or a linear pair of angles according to the mathematical definition a pair of adjacent angles whose non-common sides are opposite rays now this is very important that the non-common sides are opposite rays and when I say opposite rays it means that the two rays are exactly opposite to each other so if you have a look at the figure 1 here we have a pair of adjacent angles this is the common side the vertex and what is interesting about this is that we have this is one ray let us just take a point and say A let this be point O let this be a point B and let this be a point C so we see that the ray OA and the ray OB they are opposite to each other and an interesting thing and a quite obvious thing to observe is that when we have two opposite rays the angle that they form is always equal to 180 degrees that's all opposite rays means 180 degrees the angle formed is 180 degrees so from that can we conclude or can we derive saying that a pair of supplementary angles form a linear pair when placed adjacent to each other straight away because we know that supplementary angles when we add the measure of supplementary angles they are always equal to 180 degree which means that we will get two rays which are opposite to each other because this 180 degree angle must be formed and that will always happen in the case of supplementary angles when two angles are supplementary and you add them you will always get a figure like this okay so that is what we mean by a linear pair now look at the figure 2 this is not an example of a linear pair that is because the other rays the, the non-common sides this side let us say this is side 1 and this side which is side 2 they are not forming opposite rays you can see that this angle or in the other words this angle that we have here is not equal to 180 degree therefore this is not an example of a linear pair please note that these are still adjacent angles but just that these do not form a linear pair because the non-common sides are not opposite rays. Now let us try to answer a few more questions and look at a few scenarios. Can two acute angles form a linear pair? So acute angles as we can recollect are the angles which are from 0 to 90 degrees. 90 degree is not included in the definition and we will assume right now that the smallest angle that we can measure is one degree okay that is what we can measure so considering that the biggest acute angle that we can measure would be 89 degrees right because the only smallest measure we can measure is one degree it's not 0.5 or 0.1 one degree therefore the biggest acute angle that we can form is 89 degrees now what happens when I add two acute angles now the criteria that we will try to use here is we find out the biggest angles or find out the worst case that can happen in a particular question and see when we add those angles whether they are equal to 180 degree or not so when I add 89 plus 89 two largest acute angles okay so what we will get is 178 degrees which is less than 180 degrees therefore there will be a slight tilt and therefore it doesn't satisfy the criteria of the two non-common arms being opposite rays therefore two acute angles cannot form a linear pair okay now can two obtuse angles form a linear pair again obtuse angles are angles which are greater than 90 degree so let us take the smallest obtuse angle what is going to be the smallest obtuse angle it is going to be 91 degrees right again we are following the same assumption that the smallest angle that I can measure is 1 degree so we add two smallest obtuse angles that is 91 degrees plus 91 it gives us 182 degrees now you can see that this is not if you draw this it will look like almost straight line but not really two opposite rays so you have this one ray 
and then other ray will be slightly tilting very slight by two degrees so let me just try to draw a smaller line here too so we have something like this is a line and of course this is a bit more exaggerated but what I'm trying to convey you here is that this angle here is going to be two degrees so these this arm and this arm they are not opposite to each other they, if there are opposite rays they will form 180 degrees therefore two obtuse angles can they form a linear pair they cannot form a linear pair if it is true the, the, the why we say this is because if it is true for the smallest obtuse angles okay it is also true for any obtuse angle any pair of obtuse angles which are greater than that now can two right angles form a linear pair now if you look at it intuitively what happens when you add two right angles when we add two right angles that is 90 degrees plus 90 degrees what we get is 180 degrees and therefore you can safely conclude that two right angles will always form a linear pair that's what we've learned about linear pair now let us look at a few examples of linear pair and we are supposed to identify whether the pair or angles shown in all these figures whether these are linear or not so in the first example we have 140 degree and 40 degrees now the very simple criteria that we have to keep in mind is that if we have a pair of angles and their sum equals to 180 degree that is if we can prove that the a pair of angles are supplementary then we can conclude from this that when these two angles will placed adjacent to each other that is we superimpose one arm common arm on the other one then we will get a linear pair that is the one ray the, the opposite will get two opposite rays because they are forming 180 degree so let's take the first one and I'll just draw these lines so for the first example here we will just add both the angles that is 140 degree plus 40 degrees and this straight away gives me 180 degrees so when I place these two right in fact if I just draw a straight line like this from here okay so this becomes our common point this one we can superimpose it over here then what we have here this angle is 40 degrees so as you can see they are opposite to each other this is full 180 degrees and therefore they form a linear pair let us look at the other angles now if you look here these two are acute angles there are multiple ways to look at it okay both of them are acute angles and we discussed earlier that two acute angles cannot form a linear pair therefore this is not a linear pair that is one way of looking at it another way of looking at it is just take the sum that is 60 degree plus 60 degree it gives you 20, 120 degrees now this is not equal to 180 degrees therefore we don't get the opposite rays and therefore these are not linear pairs let us look at the third example we have 90 degrees and 80 degrees now this one 90 degree is a right angle and this is an acute angle now straight away this the best way that we can tackle this is by adding 90 degrees plus 80 degrees and when we add this we get 170 degrees again this is not equal to 180 degrees so when I will put these two angles adjacent to each other we will not get two opposite rays we will not be able to form an 180 degree angle and therefore these are not linear pair or these angles do not form a linear pair let us look at the fourth example here we have 115 degrees plus 65 so we have one as an acute angle one is an obtuse and then I add this right so this becomes 180 therefore when I'm going to place these two angles adjacent to each other we will get two opposite rays because we are getting 180 degrees and therefore this is a linear pair in fact it's very simple we can draw a straight line from here and this angle would be 65 degrees 
So this was our discussion about linear pair.